Hello, I'm Jeff Cashel with Evolve Academy, and I'm here with Vincent Ayala from Barca. And we're going to be highlighting one of the features of Release 7.1, and that is wide inputs. Um, up to this point, you have been able to take a single connector and use it as a background up to a width of 4096. Correct. Yeah. So where does this take us? Well, uh, this takes us beyond 4096. This will take us up to actually 8192 max. Uh, but there are some caveats to this. You know, it's not just a freebie, right? Right. Uh, so there's always so, rules. Yeah, there's always rules. So let's talk about some of those rules. And let's really kind of dive in. We'll show you an example of it in Event Master Toolset, how to set it up, how to utilize it as a background on a destination that matches. Um, all right, so one of the first rules for a resolution that exceeds 4096 is uh, that it must be set to 4K capacity. So the input connector has to be 4K capacity. Correct. The input connector has to be 4K capacity, and if you're using it as an input, the, you must assign a layer that it has uh, 4K capacity as well. But not so much in our case because we're using it as a background. Exactly, okay. exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a couple of backgrounds, give them 4K capacity, and then uh, uh, actually you know just set up the background okay. now we're using in for full disclosure we're okay. using a disguise server right so we're using a disguise server that's outputting 8192 correct on a single display port 1.2 output yep and then we have a second server just putting the same on resolution as a backup yep and the reason that we're doing that with a disguise server uh, it's not because we solely love disguise, but we, we do like them. We do we like everybody, right? Um, and we also like Watch Out and everybody else. Uh, is is uh, They have the ability to create custom outputs, custom output formats, right? And uh, the reason that we need a server or a computer or source. The high-end graphics machine. With a high-end graphics card in it uh, to, is to create a custom output because we cannot create an EDID that exceeds 4095. Right. So you need a computer that will output a resolution and ignore the current EDID it sees. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. So let's jump into the to business here and uh, let's take a look. So I'll take my two ports here and I will set those two to 4K. All right. And I'll go into my background tab. I'll deselect one. I'll hit add single background. I'll select the second one and I'll hit add single background. So if we take a look at these two, DP background number one, let's take a look at this first one. You'll notice right off the bat, it gives us the format of 8192 by 1080 because that's what the disguise server is forcing it's through us. Yeah. yeah. And if you really want to take that a step further, if we yeah. look at the current EDID, it's, it's still set for 1080p. Exactly. It, it's ignoring it altogether and hard pushing 8192. Okay. So if we do the same, or if we take a look at the second one, uh, it should echo that. It should be the same, 8192 by 1080 at 60. Okay. Good and valid. Right? Okay. So we have our background set up. Uh, so if we were to want to take this and apply this to a destination, we would need a destination that matched the, uh, the actual background. Right? So I'm going to create a uh, a screen destination utilizing four SMPTE 2K SDI outputs. HDI. So by SMPTE 2K, you're saying they're 2048 by 1080 each. Exactly. Right. So 2048 times four is 8192. Yeah. Convenient. <laughs> Add screen destination. We'll drop our, and you can see the, you know, you can see them increase in increments of 2048 as I drop them in because right. we're on follow output. Right. So we'll select the destination. Go to the contextual adjust tab. I'm just going to add a couple of layers because one of the things I teach my students is to try to get into the habit of adding layers. Creating your layers as you create destinations. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So if we take a look at the wide tab, here we have our screen, you know, our physical outputs and our, uh, our configuration. Super simple. All right. So we have our uh, destination. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of sidestep this. I'm going, to, I'm going to add an aux as well. So I can show you that we can take a uh, 4K background and or a 4k destination and send it to that aux. Send it to a regular 1080p yep. aux. Yep. So we'll select one of these guys right here. We'll go to our output, add single output, go to our destination tab, hit add aux destination, select it, go into the contextual adjust tab, increase the aux capacity to 4k because we know that the background is going to be 4K, we know that the screen destination would be 4K. So we want to make sure the aux capacity is 4K. Okay. Now, is there a reason to, if you wanted to set it for 8L, 
is there a reason to have to do that or does it matter? Yeah, absolutely. And that is if we, we had a screen destination or, uh, yeah, well, mostly just a screen destination that, mm -hmm. that you utilize all eight of your output links. Okay. But in this case, or, excuse me, your canvas links, not right. output. So links. in this case, we're only using four. Right. So just say four. Okay. Yeah. So we set it to 4k and you'll see in the VPU resource, we're only using four of those canvas links, meaning that we would only need that 4k capacity. Okay. All right, so now if we go back into the programming page, we take a look at the native background tab. I can simply drag and drop the native background into the destination preview. No right. errors, no warnings. It nope. fits perfectly. Totally good. We transfer that to transfer that to program and we're all set. We can even do that with the second one, right? Because it's the same size. So we'll transfer that one up. Now you might say, well, Vince, what if I want to take that to the aux, right? What if I want to send that background destination? Well, I would take, I would go to the input tab go to the background of sources and take the background and drop it in. And you'll notice it's inside of Event Master Toolset, it kind of does some squishing, but right. it would be uh, pillar, pillar letterboxed? It would be letterboxed. Letterbox. Extreme yeah. letterboxed. Extreme letterboxed. Actually, box. if you zoom that, if you zoom out on that one, right? Nope. Nope. Okay, so it basically fills it yeah. and it'd be cutting it. So that'd be a pillar. Well, that would be it totally would, letterboxed. It did fill it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, and so there, you know, there's our use cases. If we wanted to drag them into layers, we could. If we had 4K layers assigned to it, if we wanted to use them as inputs, we could and scale them up and down. Uh, if we wanted to take the destination, say screen destination number one, and put it in our aux because we set the proper capacity, we could do that as well. Okay, so that is a look at the DisplayPort uh, wide input. And this is Vincent Ayala with Barco and Tim Cushel with Evolve, and I hope you enjoyed this video.